good afternoon. Cooking with Jack today. We're going to make us some um, great northern bean and ham uh, soup. Pretty much just for one person for me. So. Here's a shot of what we're doing. Slow cooking, small crock pot. I've already got the. Uh, I've already got the uh, chicken broth in there, and this is what I use. It's better than bouillon. One thing about this, this is basically chicken based, so make sure you taste it. Make sure it's not too salty before you put it in there, which I do. I have to add a little water. So. Carrots and celery, leftovers. You can see about how thin they are. Okay, we're gonna take them, put them in there. I got some. I've got garlic right here. I'm gonna take. That's gonna trim that up a little bit. Mix that just a little bit. Now, some of these recipes calls for garlic powder, but I had this fresh garlic, so I thought I'd go ahead and use it. Real quick. <coughs> Roll that knife around. Roll that knife a little bit. Okay. So if you can see this, I'm having to do this by myself, guys, so bear with me. I've got probably, let me marry them for you so you'll exactly know. Here's the beans. I don't spell them everywhere. Okay, that's a cup, so I'm going to probably say two cups of beans. A lot of times what you will see is they will tell you soak overnight. Well, I, don't, I, don't, so I didn't soak them overnight. Um, I put them in a hot water, hot water bath and let them sit for about an hour. Uh, I've even cooked them without putting them in hot water. So I've got that in there. This is leftover ham that we have. A couple things I can do with this. Let me check the camera real quick. Slide right over here so you can see. <clears throat> this ham was cut really small, so I'm just going to take my, my hands are clean. I washed them before I started. Make sure you do that. Just make sure you. And of course, my cat's here. And I'm just going to pick this apart. Now, you will see a lot of recipes that will tell you about ham bones. That's fine. I've done it. Th I've done it a thousand times. This piece right here is probably a little bit. <clears throat> too big so I'm just going to take a little knife and with this there is no right or wrong to me so, but what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to take some of the little shred pieces because we had this last night for dinner and just kind of just a little fat I'll get that off you can put the fat in there it's not going to hurt anything I'm just going to pick this apart a little bit Like I said, I'm just going to use a little bitty pieces in here. Let me get a spoon real quick and stir this. And if I can bring this over here, where you can look at it, then you can kind of see the beans, the ham. And with the carrots and the celery, every time I cook them, I don't really go by a, a strict recipe. I mean, there are out there. I try to use the same equal amounts. Same equal amounts of carrots to celery, depending on how many people you're feeding. This is probably just going to maybe feed me. Okay. And I'm doing it because I just don't want this to go to waste. Okay. So we pre soak the beans for an hour in hot water. And <clears throat> I'm 
using, like I said, these little bitty pieces of ham that are really not going to be worth putting on a sandwich or anything else like that. They're going to go in here. So, we'll get a clean towel, wipe our hands. Now, you can kind of see, that's kind of how it looks. I hope the lighting's okay. But if not, I'll show you the finished product. Right. So. Let's check this again to make sure. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're where we need to be, I think, with the ham. Because <coughs> you, you want to get the ham in every, in every scoop full. You know, when you're serving, the, the, there you go. When you're serving the peas, I mean the beans, you want to get your, you want to get, make sure you get a hand, a, a good scoop full of, you know, and you can see there, you've got the carrots, you've got the celery, you've got the beans, you've got the ham. So I think we're good there. Okay. You can chop up an onion, put an, a, an onion in there too, just dice it real thin, whatever. But I'm going to use, I'm going to use a half of a teaspoon. I don't ever use these guys. I, I just measure by with my hand. It just may be a half of a shovel load. I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure. But <clears throat> nope, half teaspoon. Okay. Now, remember the chicken base has a lot. To me, it has a lot more salt than a regular chicken bouillon cube. So. I'm not going to add any salt at this point, but I'm going to add some pepper. And I'm not going to measure, I, I can't measure this out with this spoon, so I'm going to measure it out in my hand like this. And we'll, then, I can, then I can maybe give you an idea. And this is something you'll learn, so let me see what I can do here. <clears throat> oh, we're close. We're close. Nah. With that little bit, and then that little bit, I think we've got what we want. I stir this up. And I'm going to do one other thing. I always do this with my soup or my beans or anything, roast or anything. I always take a bay leaf, a whole bay leaf, not crushed bay leaf, just a whole bay leaf, put it in there, and then I'm going to let it go. Simple recipe, it didn't cost anything to make. And um, if you look at this as far as time wise, time constraints, it's I'm a little late getting this done, but I don't need to late anyway. So we're gonna crank this bad boy up to high. And we're gonna let her cook. And there's about one thing that you want to make sure there's about if you can see this well, let me see if I can move it over here maybe there's a little bit better light I apologize for that um, hang on one second <clears throat> oh wow it helps if I turn the light on doesn't it as you can see, that's about probably a couple inches over the actual beans, and that's what you want. You don't want them flooded, okay? Because remember, you're going to have moisture coming out of the carrots, you're going to have moisture coming out of the celery, and that's what <clears throat> I'm looking at, okay? Doesn't look like much now, but as I said, I want to make sure that I get when I do a scoop, that I get the ham, the celery, the beans, and uh, everything in that scoop. So that's kind of how I judge my um, portions. Out. You can judge them out however you want to now, them out. The easy part, you let the crock pot do the work. So we'll uh, we'll show you what the finished product turns out. Huh? Ah. Okay, so we're back. We're, we're, we're doing this ham and bean uh, soup. And we've probably been going 
about, I don't know, a couple hours, and everything's looking good so far. So, see, that's where we're looking at. But now I have a videographer, so I don't, a video, or video, one of them things. So, I'm looking here, and a lot of my moisture has been soaked into these beans, if you can see that. So, I'm going to add a little bit of water. There's probably three fourths of a cup. And remember, I told you when I started doing this, I don't want them soaking. I, I, they're not. I don't want them floating. Okay. So I'm going to add that. But whenever I add the water, I'm going to go back. I'm going to add probably. What is that measurement, my dear? That's a teaspoon. A teaspoon. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And so that right there, that's what I thought, that would be a half. Mm -hmm. That's like half. So that's going to be a half when this is kosher salt. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of my pepper. Remember, this has garlic in it, fresh garlic, onion powder. And I'm going to stir this. And then I'm going to do something that I've never done before. But... I did a little research and I did some recipes. Uh, you know, research on some recipes, and I've done a couple of these things before, so I'm going to do some of the lambs. <clears throat> what you see right here is light brown sugar. Now, I have never done this before, so I'm going to go with a little bit of that. That was what did you say, Miss uh, my my a chef? A teaspoon. So. I'm gonna do a couple. Pack. I'm gonna do another one. So I think I'm just gonna do how many teaspoons? Three. Because you Yeah, I know, but I'm 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 sitting here. Go see. You gotta understand how I cook. I kind of cook according to. Because a couple of the recipes I said use a half a cup and, and all this, and I'm not cooking that many beans, so that's why I was trying to tell you I'm not cooking that many beans, <clears throat> I'm not cooking a whole pound of beans. Okay, so that's why I have to kind of judge what I'm doing <clears throat> by the way the, the way it tastes. So let me try this. I think I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more water. You want to try that? Uh -uh. You don't? Okay. No, no. <clears throat> I'm going to add just a little bit more water. That's, that's really good. That, that brown sugar really does, does, do, does add a lot. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I think it's going to probably change the color. So, hey, just a little bit more water. It's on high. And I think it's going to bring out, I think it's going to give some, some different flavor to the, the carrots and the celery, celery and the ham and even the beans. So I still got back to about my, I don't know, my inch or so, inch three quarters of uh, stuff. But remember, these beans have soaked up a good amount. But we did put some, like I said, we put what, four, three, three what, teaspoons? Sugar. Three mm -hmm. teaspoons of extra light brown sugar. Yeah, that'd be okay. So we tasted it. We added a little bit of salt. We added a little bit of pepper. And uh, we're gonna let this bad boy go on and let the slow cooker dust what it gets paid today. The most important thing is with this is that I'm cooking this just not basically by recipe, but. Um, you, you taste, you add, you add, you taste, you know, you, you, it's, it's kind of that, okay? So I didn't put everything this recipe said in because it's just for me. And not everybody has got a family that's going to eat a pound of northern beans, a cup and a half of brown sugar, and, and this many onions and everything else. You just don't do that. So you have to adjust based on whatever circumstances you have, okay? And... You know, so just adjust, taste, add, 
Remember, you can always add it, but you can't take away. So we're going to let her go. I'm glad I got my videographer back because I'm horrible at doing this. So I'll see you in a little while. Okay. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and plate this up. Well, we're not going to plate it up. Come on. This is a bay leaf. All right, so I'm going to take this bay leaf. I'm just going to take this out of the slow boiler. No. It is like late at night for most people to eat. I'm going to take this right here. See what I'm doing. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Now you can tell that you do not see a lot of the carrots on your honey. I mean, sorry, the carrots and celery. That's because I cut them thin enough to where they're basically just going to disintegrate. All I want to do is get the flavor out. That's all. This is uh, him and bean soup, not ham and bean and. Whatever. So, now, I gotta try to do something. Bacon. Bacon. They had breakfast tonight. Okay, there you have it. As you can see, I took a little bit of bacon, especially the brown part. I crumpled that up in there and uh, mix it. And I didn't mix it, I put it on top. And then put a little more of the, the bean, ham and bean mixture on top. Man, that's good. And taste it. The brown sugar really brings out a different flavor in this. It it makes it a little bit. Now I don't want to say sweet, but it changes it from being so bland with you know just the just the um, pepper and the salt and the ham and everything else. It really adds a good flavor to it. I went back and it was a little bit. I may have added a little bit too much. I'm not sure. And I went back, I added a little bit more onion powder, um, a little bit more salt. But you can always taste as you go. So, But that's that's my thing. That's my version of ham and bean soup. So, again, if you like it, like it, subscribe it, subscribe it, and send me a message. Peace. See you. We're going to eat.